intention behind how we say. So if I'm going to say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, or if I'm praying, I like, you know, I want to pray with fire, with passion. And he says, you can tell when you hit another level because it'll change. And so he gave us an example of how he commands the spirit to come out. And he said, he goes, he, he said, I don't look at the demon and say, come out demon in the name of Jesus, come out, loose him and let him go. He's like, there's no fire. There's no passion. It matters. Your passion matters when the Lord is in you. This is a war. We're in a in warfare. We are ministers. So we have to be equipped in doing this. So when you use the name of Jesus, he said, prophet would say, he looks and says, come out in Jesus name. And I gave an example that I'll give to you guys. I was talking to this couple in Oxnard one time and I was just doing training of how to command and how to decree and how to declare things. And, and I was telling him, I said, I was just standing there talking like three of them. And I said, you know, if I said a demon can hear me from China from here, I said, you have to decree that thing. I said, tell it, come out in Jesus name. And the young man literally started vomiting at the table. And I was like, ah, <laughs> I didn't know there was something on him. I didn't know that there was a spirit there. I didn't know that it was present. It happened because I have authority and the spirit could hear me. So it had to hearken to God's voice. Let me see. Thank you, Phyllis, for putting your, your needs, your ministering needs. Uh, thank you, Ebony, for putting your needs. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Who else is? Jason, thank you for putting your goals for the class, too. Um, I have not got one from a few others of you guys, so I need you guys to put those in there. It's really important for me that I get those because when I hang up, hang up this uh, line, I can't see them. So you guys have to put them in there. So please if, uh, type them in so it can help me, please. And it's just like things like, like, not to make an example, but like those things, be quick to just add them. And it helps, it helps, um, it helps me because you don't want to go back and have to say things over and over. Okay. So it helps us to flow. So in that, we're learning these things because we're, we're growing on from being immature to being mature, from being offended to being understanding, to love covering to growth. And we're moving into a newness where we're getting rid of our flesh. And so it's a new place with a new response, with a new reaction. And we got to be able to, to um, be obedient to those things. Okay. So that's where I'm going to help you guys out a whole lot. So obedience is everything in the kingdom of God. How we respond to God is everything. I mean, how we, if, if, like, I love it. Prophet Love, he always says, you're quenching my spirit. And we quench his spirit when we don't respond. God wants a response from us. It says, and Abraham got up the next day and he immediately obeyed God. Every time somebody immediately obeyed God, the things begin to happen because it's a heart condition, okay? There's a stubbornness. There's a rebellious on the stiff neck people. We don't want to be stiff neck. I've been stiff neck. And God, we have to pray for a new heart and a new spirit, okay? Very key important important in ministers training that we move into those things okay because we're going to be dealing with the souls so he says here while i was with you, you know, in the world i kept them with your name those whom you've given me and then i'm going to skip to um to uh 14 i've given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world just as i am not of the world i do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. There are, uh, they are not of, of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them with your truth. So he's giving us truth and he's going to reveal that has to be unlocked by somebody higher than you has to be unlocked by somebody who's, who's in a different dimension has to be unlocked by somebody who's been in has experienced it. So I can't teach you deliverance if I've never experienced deliverance. I can't teach you prophetic if I've never been at prophetic. I can't teach you about words of knowledge and wisdom and I've never experienced words of knowledge of wisdom and, and, and these different things. I can't teach you about how to curve your character. I can't teach you about how to submit it. I haven't submitted. I haven't teach you all these things. So for that reason, I'll give you guys a little bit of background. Like when I first came in, I was just a servant. And remember, minister is the word servant. Thank you, Allison, for, for yours, yours too. Um, I was literally... I was literally just a, um, um, I was just a gopher. <laughs> if they said do it, I did it. If they said, okay, if they said they wanted me to wash the toilets, I washed the toilets. There was humility in that. There was growth in it. If they asked for $100, I gave $100. If they asked me to do 
choir directing, I was not a choir director, but the choir director didn't show up and something happened. I was a choir director for one day. You guys should have seen me. It was hilarious. I was like, what can we sing? I was like, uh, Kirk Franklin. Okay. All right. You guys know the song? And we got up there and we sang. I just filled in. Um, they would tell me, you got three minutes to preach. We're going to cut your mic off. I learned how to be obedient to what God asked me to do. So quickly, I learned to obey quickly. If I had to get up at four in the morning, I got up at four in the morning. It was seemingly kind of strange, but it was it was beneficial to me because I grew leaps and bounds by everybody else. I obeyed everything that the prophet asked me to do, everything. And people might say, oh, it doesn't take all that. But they didn't grow in the dimensions I grew in and the character. And they also didn't see the blessings that I saw flow. And they didn't watch the presence of God open up to me. Now, the other day, two prophets were on the line and they said something pretty mighty. They said that when you're in the presence of God, see, we're going to learn during this time when to pray, when not to pray. Some things you don't need to be praying about. Some things you think you're fighting and you're not fighting. I hear people say all the time, I'm fighting this, I'm fighting that. You're not really fighting and you think you're fighting. Just praying isn't fighting. And how to pray, how to pray, how to cancel things, how if you're opening up doors, how to cancel things that you're still opening up and how to move in them. We're all in, we're not understanding these things. So this is where we come into knowing who our God is and what we possess and believing and knowing what we have and walking in that. So I don't want you guys wasting time doing things and we're doing them the wrong way. I've done things the wrong way, but God's grace still covers us. So he still honors them. But when your anointing grows inside of you, it will destroy yokes where that thing can't stand to be inside of you because there's so much of God inside of you. The anointing breaks the yoke. OK, so the yoke no longer can control you. All right. So amen. All right. So with that said, you guys are going to be growing at a major capacity. So our minister's training class, you guys are going to be growing at a major capacity right now. You guys are going to experience God during this time. God will visit you in different ways. He will speak to you in different ways. You will be in repentance in a different way and you will begin to look inward. So I wanted to, uh, it's not a long class tonight because you guys are going to get some homework. I want to give you guys what we're going to do and what you're going to have. And then I would like a one-on-one -on -one within the next week with each one of you guys that are on our minister's training class. Um, just so we can, I can spend that time to, you know, know you, know what you need, and then grow we can expand that even though you put it there, but there's some things that can be activated. So I want to connect with each and every one of you guys. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to give you guys your assignment really quickly. So what are we doing? We're growing in the grace of God. We're going in the word knowledge of God. Um, we are going to be studying the word of God, studying to show ourselves approved and um, workmen need not be ashamed to rightfully divide the word of truth so that we can be equipped with every good work. You're not equipped with every good work until we are studying. He didn't say reading, but studying to show ourselves approved. And then he tells us too, he says that we should be renewing our mind. And a lot of people are reading their Bible. They're not studying their Bible. They don't have any comprehension of what they're reading and it's doing nothing for them. That is just like the Pharisees. Here they were. Nobody should have known the word better than they. They do and so reading your Bible is not oh doesn't help God it helps you and then they weren't renewing their mind why because they had a heart issue and many of you have a heart issue and that's why there's been no deliverance or growth in certain areas because realistically you can't even receive from somebody you're offended at okay so we have to make sure that we have our heart right or we've got bitterness and cleansed out and all of that good stuff okay so um, that would be really, 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 really amazing for us to uh, see some testimonies. So where you guys are at now and where you're going to be is going to be huge. OK. OK. So next thing. Let's see. I'm going to give you guys your assignment. I'm going to pull you off mute real quick and I'm going to tell it to you. So I'm going to start with Mercedes. I'm going to unmute you. Mercedes. Hi. Yes, How are you? How are you? Glory, glory. I'm great, thank you. Hi. Okay, so you are going, each one of you, this is the direction. So Jason or somebody can write it down for me. You're going to give me the Greek word, the Hebrew word, and your dictionary. The Bible dictionary and a Webster. So Greek word, Hebrew word, Bible dictionary, and your Webster, okay? You get three minutes. Three minutes to present. We're going to, you're going to teach us. Ask the Holy Spirit. Ask him. So get all, gather all your stuff together. Find some scriptures on it. 
And then you're going to present what we need to know, okay? Yes. Amen. All right, so you're, it's kind of seem like it's two, but they're going to go together, all right? Mm-hmm. Gifts and talents. Okay. Okay? So that's going to be yes, your word. Ma'am. Amen. Yes. So you guys have a little bit more <clears throat> time. Like when we are on with Prophet Joni Ames next week, um, you guys may have a little bit more time to present, but I'm going to have you guys teach it to me either way. So next week, I want you to be prepared because it might be during your private time. You teach me first, but we're going to do it to, with each other as well. So it'll be good. So the definition someone asked is we need to know the Greek word, the Hebrew word, the um, the Greek word, the Hebrew word, the uh, sorry, the Webster and the Bible di- definition, the Bible dictionary definition. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So I think he's gonna. All right. Okay, love. So you got yours. Unmute. Okay, I'm gonna go to Allison. I'm gonna unmute her. Allison? Hi. This is why we have to pay attention because you don't know when you're going to get called on in this class. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Hi there. Hi, babe. Hi there. Okay. So your word, thank you, Lord, for giving me the word. My word. (laughs) I'm hearing. No, I'm having a conversation right now because I'm like, well, I'm like, that's a lot. That's a whole lot. So. Your word is love. Uh, uh, love. Yep. And why it's okay. important and why we need it. Okay. Say that again, babe. Just make sure you break down because the reason I was asking, Lord, is because there's like four different definitions of love, which you don't have yes. to skate through each one of them. Just focus on mainly agape, okay? So that's why I was, okay. like, you saw the look that's on my face. Because that's just what I got when I said, when you said there's four kinds of. The, yeah, I was just like, and you know, that used to, yeah, I had that little conversation. He just told me to tell you to focus on agape. Why it's okay. important, okay? All right, perfect. Okay. Uh, next person, Jason. Hello. Hi, Amy. Jason. Hi, how are you? Bless you. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Great. I love this. Okay, so your word is submission. <laughs> That's it. Why are you laughing? I kind of guessed the word already. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, you God told you? Hallelujah. No. I love I it. I really about the words. Okay. <laughs> you say what? I had a feeling about it. I had a feeling. Amen. Oh, like See, you guys, so that's what I love. Tap in, tap in, pull it, pull on it. Amen. Okay, so you in your teaching of submission, make sure you express why submission is important, why it's needed for ministers. Remember, what we're doing is ministers training. Why we need to have this. Why is it important and imperative? Like, hone in on that, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. All right. You already put your reasonings, your, what you wanted to gain from the class, right? Yes. Okay, great. Perfect. And I don't know. I think Mercedes did too. Okay. Um, Eb- Ebony. You there, Ebony? Uh oh, I can hear barely somebody. Ebony, are you there? Okay, I'm going to mute her real quick. I'm going to, I didn't hear her. So I'll come back to Ebony. All right, uh, Cherie. Cherie, are you there? Hi. Hi there, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, woman of God? I'm awesome. Where are you calling from? Um, West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, what's awesome. So we have two people from Florida on here. I love it. Amen. Yeah, I'm Mercedes's mom. Oh, praise God. Oh, okay. Yeah, she she told me about you and I've been following you ever since. Praise God. Glory be to the name of Jesus. <laughs> well, Florida is West Palm Beach, Florida is blessed because of you, sister. Praise the Lord. Well, amen. Amen. 
Well, I'm going to I'm going to give you a word that you could that um that you're going to it's actually going to be really kind of simple but it's, it's going to be really great for you um, okay. to bring to us cuz we're actually going to be studying that. So, um it's actually Hmm. I was getting ready to say something I heard heard the Lord say obedience. Oh, Jesus. Hey baby. Obedience. Be sure to bring it home, especially as ministers, why we need it, what's it, why it's important, what we all need. Amen? Amen. Okay. So, obedience. Praise the Lord. Okay, sister. Okay, woman of God. Thank you. You're welcome. Dwight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you. Your turn. So, um, you're, I'm, what did you say? I said, I'm ready. Okay, good. Okay. So also, did you put your, your, did you answer the question and put it in, in the chat? I didn't see yours. Yeah. Um, I put in the, uh, I don't the see it. It's not revelation. in there. So re put in there what you expect to get from the classes. I, for some reason, I don't see it and i'm gonna need to write it down so i don't want to miss you and then also woman of god uh sheree bates if you could put what you need in the class too it would be really great because i want to make sure i get you as well so um okay so your homework assignment um question lord jesus i always have to ask um forgiveness okay that is your question. So, do you have any questions about what we're what you're supposed to do? Uh, no, no, I, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. So, uh, why, especially as ministers? Remember, ministers get higher. We have a higher judgment. <laughs> we have more accountability. So, moving, seeing yourself moving forward, seeing where we're going. Forgiveness. Why is imperative? We need to have the word forgiveness. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The words are deep, right? It, this is really, it, I never know what he's going to give somebody in the words until I get there. That's why I had to hear your voice because I don't know. So I, I almost gave Jason's word to somebody else, but see, God already spoke that word to him. So it's going to be, it's important. It's imperative that God is calling you guys to this words, not me. Okay. Um, oh, glory. Okay. Okay. So, and then if you could rewrite in the chat part, what what um what you expect to get out of the class okay thank you okay okay um allison wherever she went uh in that god wants to stress that he's not a respecter of person and how much he loves us it's a it's a focus on not our love for him too but how much he loves us there's going to be a revelation in that so um when you, you teach me i'll i'll be able to help you let me go back to ebony now ebony are you there still I'm here. Can you hear me now? Did, yes, I can hear you. Hi, Ed. Yay. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to go fix the microphone in my in my settings. Oh no, it's room. okay. I was coming back to okay. you. I, I knew you you I you typed something and I didn't have to worry about that. Okay. okay. <laughs> so peace. Ah. But peace as a weapon though. Okay. Because peace is a weapon. Remember Jesus, every time he was going to a fight, I'm going to just let you guys know a key thing. He came as the Prince of Peace. How's the Prince of Peace come and you have a war? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, God. <laughs> so peace is very important. So peace okay. is, your, um, is your word. Amen? Amen. Okay, sister. Hold on. Let me go to the right. next person. Let me see who I've missed. If I've missed. Did I get Gwendolyn? Let me see. No, I didn't. Ha. Um, how come I can't add her in? Okay, Gwendolyn, for some reason, it won't let me unmute you. So I'm going to give you a word down here. Okay, Gwendolyn's word is going to be mm. 
wait. So hopefully you can just tell me that you got that word so I can make sure because that's an important word. I don't want anybody to be left off of their word, okay? Okay, so everybody's getting their homework assignment that you're going to teach next week. Let me see if I got everybody here. So, Phyllis, I have not given you a word. Ah, there you go. Phyllis, can you hear me, woman of God? Okay, she, it might be in her settings too. You can type if you can hear me, Phyllis, and I'm going to give you your word, so make sure that you're connected. If not, I'll have Allison give me your email. So, Phyllis. Your word is going to be prophesy or prophecy. Prophecy. Let me see if she got the word. Prophecy is her word. So let me see if he can, because I know sometimes I'll come back to her in a moment because it might be like, uh, like Ebony, you might have to un unmute yours, okay? So... Let me see. So I've got Mercedes, gifts and talents, Allison, love, Jason, submission, Cherie, obedience, uh, Dwight is forgiveness, Ebony is peace, Phyllis is prophecy. Okay, she got it. Okay, let me see if she can tell. Let me just try her one more time. Are you there, Phyllis? Okay, so I, I see she said she, said she got it. Okay, great, perfect. And then we've got uh, Virgil and, uh-oh, did they just fall off? They just fell off, okay. Virgil and Nondras, okay. Okay, so real quickly, I'm gonna actually open, I don't know if it'll let me open all the lines, but I wanted to unmute you guys so you guys can actually um, ask any questions questions oh though you guys are gonna believe this <laughs> i didn't record it but um so you guys can ask any questions so there's gonna be any questions i'm gonna unmute you guys real quick unmute bring them up here Cause. there we go um unmute if you guys have any questions you can actually unmute yourself and come off and ask some of those questions because we're going to move into those things okay so i'm going to teach for about 10 minutes and then we're going to be able to um, I'm going to teach for about 10 minutes and then you guys are going to be able to um, go ahead and begin your study. Okay. Oh, amen. I see Cherie. I don't know why Dwight's isn't coming through. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got gotcha, you guys. All right, you guys. So uh, when we sign up, when we recognize we're called to the ministry, something begins to happen inside of us. Okay. Um, you a desire. So really important. You have to have desire. Number two, we have to have obedience. Number three, we have to have passion. You know, it was passion that he went to the cross. Why do you think it is the passion of Christ? It was passion. We have to have the ability to give. So in our giving, however, we connect to a T, to a T. We connect ourselves with the things of God. We connect ourselves with, with the prophetic. We connect ourselves with, with, with uh, you know, the gleaming of the Lord. And you say, Tara, what is gleaming? Well, it said that Ruth, when she went out and she was picking up, you know, food behind the people that were actually at the the they were the threshing floor they were picking up barrels and barrels it was uh i think it was barley season or whatever and she was gleaming whatever was left behind she was picking up and if you remember the woman she said you know he was like no it's preserved for the jews and she said she said even the dogs eat from the master's table so even the scraps and he he blessed her so i want you guys to know that more than just scraps are going to fall that you're going to be able to reach up and grab it if you've never grown before 
rebuke whatever that thought is because this is your season to grow this is your you you if you weren't passionate before this is your time to get passionate if you didn't get up and do what you're supposed to do this is your time to be obedient this is your time to have desire and this is your time to there's a keyword believe i don't care if you didn't believe before this is your time in your season to believe that what god's word says about you is yours to believe that it's true and even i can hear somebody's demon telling them now, actually, it's a stronghold in the mind. So it's an evil spirit. It's the difference between a demon and an evil spirit. This evil spirit is saying, this is not going to work. It hasn't worked all along. There's no way. You're not going to get this. I want whoever that is to rebuke those spirits talking to them. It is for you. New dimensions have to be unlocked to you. And that's why we're here, to be unlocked to the new things that God has for us. Us. It's not new to God. It's new to us because we have chosen to believe. We've chosen to have desire. We've had disobedience. We've had passion and we're serving him this time. This time there might not been before with all of our heart, our soul, our strength, our might. So this time is different. So I don't know if you've ever have experienced what I've experienced, but sometimes uh, I have literally, literally Come in one way, like it might have been like it might have been like with track and field, and I was not focused, you know. And I didn't, but then when I focused my mind and my heart, and I set my heart on getting what I was supposed to get, I got that. I received. But the problem wasn't the coach. He gave the same stuff. He gave, um, he gave me the the everybody else the same 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 workout. But there was people that would not work out totally with all of their heart. There's people that didn't get it. He could have said lift weights and we went in there and we did reps and they were 10 pounders. But when I put on the 35 pounders, something began to break in me. Amen. And when something begins to break with weightlifting, you begin to actually experience growth. Amen. And so you will experience growth like never before. And somebody this is a good time for you to say I receive because you have to respond to God. So in this, with that, you now have a new response to God. When you pray, I need you to get a prayer partner for the next 21 days that you can pray with with passion that pushes you to another level. OK, and if they don't call you, there's some people that'll be like, well, they didn't call. So who that God will know? God knows that he sees your heart. Don't give him an able uh, a Cain offering. Give him an able offering so that you can receive. He will accept it. He's not going to accept that other stuff because you really are making it like it's a chore. You're putting him at the bottom of your shoe. So if that means that you and your prayer partner pray at three in the morning. Then you pray at three in the morning. Be diligent. Set your alarm. It's like you getting to your job. It's like you obeying your boss. Why would you give your boss more than you're going to give God? So in that, you have to begin to make a decision ahead of time, pre-plan, pre-ordain, and honor that. God honors when we honor him. So in this place, we're going to make our commitment to do, do these things. If you have any struggles with anything, once again, even the book that we're reading, remember I told you you can download this book this book online. You can download it. And if somebody, anybody is having some kind of hardship, um, I will personally um, pay for your devotional. Okay. So you can download the book online. So you don't have to worry about that. You can also listen to those things that are going to be, uh, on YouTube. You can listen to some things on boundaries. You can listen to some things on, on the believers authority by Kenneth Hagin. I would saturate your mind heavily in the next 21 days with the things of God. Just, just close everything out and, and begin to allow yourself to grow and continue command the growth. If it's your earth around you, he said, every place I have placed through our feet, I have given giving you to Joshua so that earth must obey and it must produce uh, growth for you. So you're commanding the growth. Amen. If you, if you need some healing in your body, you're decreeing, you're declaring, and you're believing and receiving what God has provided for you, which is your healing. It's already done. And who's the sun sets free is free indeed. If you haven't heard Prophet Sobelia's testimony about her healing, every single day she came forth and did the same thing. At first she was going from person to person. Then she began to stand on the word of God. She got up in the morning. She couldn't hear. She put oil and she, she commanded. She read the scripture. She commanded it. She read the scripture. She commanded it with power and 
authority. And one day she heard a pop in her head and she grabbed her head. But after that, she could hear. She was held onto it for two and a half years, going on three years. And it began to manifest. Her healing broke forth. So your healing breaking forth is very imperative. Your deliverance in this, as we go through even deliverance, you got to expect to be laying hands on yourself. I want us to, with our desire, with our obedience, with our passion, with our giving, with our connecting, with our believing, here, uh, with our heart, soul, strength, and might serving and responding to God, I want you to look inward. I want you to do any a self evaluation and be honest with yourself. Do you know most people don't know their self? They don't know their self. It's like, you know, oh, I can do that, but a trainer can see what you can really do. So a trainer can take you further, can expand you to show you new ways. So ask if you go, try somebody that you don't know, I mean, that you trust, you do know, excuse me, that loves you and ask them. Ask them who you are. Tell me, hey, what areas do you think I could work at? Don't ask somebody that's going to tear you down, please. Because it's not about tearing you down. It's about building you up. You know, it's about you growing. It's about, but ask within your heart, ask the Lord, what do you need me to change? What do you need to me to get out? You know, some people, I mean, I, I know by the, by the presence of God, that there's unforgiveness. Some people, I know that, 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 um, they have hidden, you know, anger. I know some people have passive aggressiveness that is not allowing them to even be real with themselves. May God remove every block that has kept us from seeing what needs to what has been blocking our deliverance, our healing, our growth, our thinking. May we tear down every stronghold. May we bring it into true obedience to God and may we grow in the things of God. This is a mighty thing. So, um, you know, this is where God is training us. We're training our brain to think differently. We're taking on the mind of Christ, the life of Christ, the body of Christ. We, we actually receive him in our, within us when we actually were baptized by the Holy Spirit. But did you get baptized with the Holy Spirit and that with fire? We have to begin to know that, the difference. So we'll come into the knowledge of these things. Amen. And so those key things were very important. Let me see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Those are 12 things. Yeah. Okay. Got it. 12 things that we will be changing and transforming in those areas. Okay. So, um, Father, in the name of Jesus, for each and every person who is under the sound of my voice, I thank you that this is their season of growth. I thank you that you're unlocking the keys to the mysteries of the kingdom of God. I pray that every heart that is fixed on shifting, that they will have experienced you like never before, that you shall visit them personally, God, as you intended in your word in John the 14th chapter. And that we would not just, not even in just a dream, that you would visit their children, that we would tap into and enjoy and love your presence, that you can unlock the future to us, glory that we would know you and Jesus Christ crucified and the power of your resurrection that no man can take it from us, that no man can block us from what you have preserved for us before the formation of the world. I pray that everyone take the class <laughs> so seriously, God. I thank you for where you're taking them, where you're launching them through the gifts that should be unveiled in the midst of this and the prophetic that's unveiled, the deliverance, the dreams that are unveiled. And may they dream dreams, God. May they have visions, Father. May they experience supernatural things. May even some of them wake up with glory dust about them, God, that we would see mighty miracles manifesting in their life, God, on earth as it is in heaven. May we prophesy to the person at the grocery store. May we prophesy to the person at the bus stop. May we prophesy to the person at the library that they might be built up and edified the kingdom of God, that they would come and learn, learn to know you and love you. May we lay hands on the sick. May they recover. May we remove dementia and may we remove, remove, we remove cancer. May we see, see the glory of the Lord, Father. And I thank you, Lord. May there be marriages restored and healed and delivered. May there be intimacy, Father, and may ministries birth forth and branch forth all over this world because of what you're doing here, Father. I thank you for every person under the sound of my voice who is committed and dedicated. And I thank you in Jesus' name. 
I've just tapped into YouTube, you guys, too. So we are doing our minister's training class. Um, I gave, just gave you guys a little snippet of what we're doing. Um, if you want to get connected, you can go to www.lifelinetnt.org, or you can go to our Facebook group so you can log in. It's um, Lifeline TNT Radical Life Change Group, okay? And you guys, just so you know, because I made it where, you know, anybody can do this, Um so every week I'll just take an offering because we want to make sure we're helping the people and we're also blessing our speakers. because We're going to have some speakers on too for our minister's training. All right. So it won't be just you looking at me. <laughs> we will have uh, some great speakers too. So, um, you know, I'm going to, I'll put, let's see, the cash app too and the, the information so you guys can so um, and bless the people. And uh, I'm going to pray over your offerings too, because I thank God for each and every person who's believed in the ministry. You guys know what it's like. We have been, we're always a giver and we never turn people away. So we always make sure. Shh, nope, not right now. Nope, not right now. Not right now. No. Not right now. <laughs> My son. Thanks, baby. Lifeline.org. Okay, and then our PayPal, I'll put on here too. And we have, um, what do you call us? Venmo, everything. I don't know what they, everything they have. Um, okay. Thank you guys for your patience and um, me getting all these little things together. So all those that are sewing, and then we know we have our broadcast. So Friday at 6, you guys, there will be our broadcast too. And it's pretty awesome because we've had some awesome, some speakers so um you can join us for that and if you're sewing just for the broadcast to make sure that you say that because uh it's very important so every month that's like something that is occurred so and um, we lot and we need lots of help with our ministry positions so if you guys can do things when you're you're extra out there we we thank god for we're training you guys to help with that too and to bless your own your own ministry develops in the process so it's really great um do we have any questions you guys can come off of mute if you have any questions too i see my class do we have any questions? Yes. Um, Taryn, I had just wanted to know, what did you say the name of the devotional was again? I have the other ones, but I when I uh, reset the same. This oh, one okay, I did. Okay. Pursuit of His Presence. And so, um, like I said, this one I like a little bit better because it, it has the year reading in it. I keep my faith to faith with me, the little tiny one, but this is the advanced one of that one. Okay. So pursuit of his presence. And so, and if, like I said, if somebody has a hard time getting it, please, um, that's why you guys sew because we are able to help other people too. So if the Lord puts in your heart, please. So, and, um, it's like a church service. So we're doing our, we'll do our offering. So thank you guys so much. Um, what other questions? We, oh, which chapter are we reading for the Bait of Satan? <laughs> We're going to read chapter, um, here we go. Read your introduction, and we're going to read chapters uh, one and two, okay? So that's like 20 pages, you guys. So we in a week, we'll read those, and I'll touch base with you guys, um, and I'll ask you guys next week just to make sure. 20 pages, um, the introduction. This book is going to change your entire life. This book is going to transform you. This book is going to love you back. And it's going to set right every relationship so that you will stay far from the trap of offense. And offense is something that tears down ministries, families, relationships. Um, more, It takes out more people than you could ever imagine. But if you already know to stand against that enemy, you'll be prepared for what God has for you. And no minister is ready for ministry without having to study the bait of Satan, okay? Because if you can actually undo what he, he, undo, do what he wants to do here, and you're already ready for him, the Bible tells you, do not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. So we cannot be ignorant. Hi, Miss Nina. God bless you. Glory to God. All right, you guys. So any, and what other questions? Any other questions, you guys? Okay, I'm going to pray over those who are sowing too. Um, Father, thank you for every person who has given their offering, their their tithe. Uh, they have given their uh, seed offering for connectivity, God, uh, for their growth and whatever, what have you, you put in their heart. Father, I just thank you for multiplication. I thank you that the, the keys will be unlocked, 
they would be unlocked to the areas that they've been praying for God, that they would be connected to the right place at the right time, doing the right thing, that they would experience God. And I rebuke, I, I still keep hearing the spirit whispering, these voice whispering to somebody who does not silence this voice, but you got to learn to silence your voice. I keep hearing it saying, that doesn't work. They, oh, you don't need to do that. The devil is a liar because the only reason he's whispering is because it's working. And if you start learning to tell him to be quiet and to shut up and don't speak to me and to rebuke him, resist him and speak the word back to him, he will flee like he did with Jesus in Luke, the fourth chapter. He may come back for an opportune time and look for another time, but the point is that you have to resist the enemy for him to flee. So I thank you, Father, for power and authority to resist the enemy and the voices that he is speaking with and that his voice is not stronger than your voice. Your voice is the strongest voice. And we thank you for that, Father. I thank you for each and every person in, uh, that is here. I pray, Father God, that, that you would do great and mighty exploits for every person that is here, God. This is the new season. <laughs> Glory to God. I just got so excited because somebody got it with the, the desire, the obedience, your passion, the giving, the believing, the strength, the might. I'm going to post this in the, in the, life, in the fruit, uh, Lifeline group. This is so important. Those 12 steps are going to be the difference between why you didn't get something as opposed to what you're getting. But this time, miracle signs and wonders shall visit you. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. So every person, Father, I even had the desire and the heart to give, Father, that is sowing into their future, is sowing into the, the, the they're receiving, they're connecting to the word that is spoken, connecting to the word that is spoken right now. Father, I thank you that you unlock those things in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. We praise you. We worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. So I thank God for each and every one of you. You know, if you email me, I will email you back. So Tara, I'll give you the easiest email. You can always go to lifelinetnt.org. It will send me an email, but you can go to Taryn Tarver 7 at gmail and you can always send it to me there um but you know we're very connected to you guys and we thank god for you and we pray for you and we do return messages in the name of jesus we thank god for each and every one of you so we long to see you. and also if you need us to minister to a group or come let us know because that's what we do okay we travel and this year god said keep the bags packed <laughs> so amen you guys have anything else i think that's it any other questions about homework any other questions about books? Uh, if you need a book purchased for you guys, please send a message with your email so that we can mail you um, your devotional. Okay, we'll get you a devotional. Um, anybody else? I want to make sure before I sign you guys off. Oh, I can't sign you off anyway because I got to actually get collect your information on here. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys have a great and awesome blessed day. I'm not going to hang hang everybody up yet because I have to actually write down. Um, yes, join in on our minister's training class, you guys. This has been awesome. Um, I have to write down the needs for the class and what they hope to get. Okay, so um, expect to get your uh, syllabus and your homework assignments for the week. Don't forget next week, you're teaching three minutes and we will have Prophet Joni Ames on. Um, I'll see how I do that, but you're gonna teach with me at least for your three minutes and then a few of you guys are gonna actually teach to the group, okay? So just be prepared, be ready. And if you don't have your homework ready, you're not in obedience. So we're not doing that. I know everybody's gonna do their homework, so I'm not worried about that. All right, guys. So um, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. And you can log off while I am going to put in this information for you guys that you guys wrote down. <laughs>